It's Monday night, and our Halloween party is on Saturday, and I've been very disorganised this year. Well, I haven't been disorganised, I've just been busy doing other things. But Halloween is here, and I feel like I'm letting myself down if I don't at least try to create a slightly light up costume. I can't promise anything, I really can't, but here we go. So, welcome to Moggy Boxcraft. I'm Deborah, and today I am going to be making an absolute last minute DIY semi light up pirate costume. Yay! <laughs> the theme this year for our party is the working dead. And I have chosen to be a pirate because a pirate is a career option, isn't it? Is it? Maybe it isn't. I have raided my wardrobe. I don't know why I'm still flicking this flag around. Put that down. I have raided my wardrobe. I have got some items for the base of the costume. I've got some pirate flags. I now need a headdress. What better way to be a pirate than with a pirate ship as a headdress? That's my kind of train of thought here. So I have a whole load of like bits and pieces like this. I've got a pirate flag, although this is probably too big for it. I've got a load of cardboard, glue gun glue, because I am a glue gun enthusiast. And we're just gonna make this work with things I already have. So right now I'm gonna work on a pirate headdress and I think it should be a pirate ship. I had this tragic looking pirate hat in the dress up box. And it's just terrible. What even is this? <laughs> this is just pure sadness on my head. This is not going to work for my vision of piratery, you know? Failing that, I've got some headbands. So I'll just either rip one of these apart and then just Super glue the pirate ship to one of these. I've got some leftover cardboard. A4 sheet of cardboard. Just gonna fold that in half. I think if we just cut this in half, right? I'm not looking for perfection here. I just need it to be somewhat of a boat. Okay, well, we do the front first. Let's just cut a round bit off that to start with. So we've got something like that. Let's cut a little bit more off there. Let's just fold that there. We're not expecting a miracle here, okay? I just need a pirate boat. Oh, it's gonna be massive, isn't it? Ah, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We just need to crack on and get this done. Glue gun glue there. Let's just fix that together to start with. Just cut a few slits here <laughs> and here. Let's fold that up. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> this is not an accurate representation of a pirate ship, okay? Just gonna put a block. I've got to put there. Put there. I don't even have clear glue gun glue. I've got glitter glue gun glue. <laughs> it's fine, right? That's good. See? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Put a blob in there. That's perfect, isn't it? Oh, I can see how squint that is already. We're just going to have to cut it down to fit, okay? Tiny bit in there, maybe? Just going to go and buy what I think I remember a pirate ship to go. I did look at some photos earlier. I think they kind of just go like so down from here and then is that how a pirate ship goes? Should I google this? <laughs> okay so they're all different. I'm not here to be historically accurate. Perfect lovely smashing see? I'll try and match it up on the side. <laughs> They've got a base. Is it too big? I'm going to cut this bit for my head to kind of be more comfortable with. I think that could work. What am I doing with my life? Sometimes I really do wonder. Base of the ship. I think I need to put something in here to strengthen this a little bit. So I have some black card I can use. Can I put that over there? Strengthen it that way. So just stick a bit of card on there. Maybe cut out another piece of cardboard. I feel like I'm in some sort of like speed challenge crafting session. You only have two hours to complete your hat. Put a little bit of glue on the inside there. Stick that card on. Pinch that together. 
So I've got these strips of card left over from a different project. I want to kind of glue these on so it looks like planks of wood kind of. Do I really need to be doing this with glue gun glue or is it going to be too heavy? There's no time for concerning yourself about what's too heavy and what's not. Get it done. Just so they slightly overlap. Maybe let's cover that first. I'll do for the moment, yeah? As I go, I will be using up these little scrap pieces. Because hopefully that'll make it look a little bit more authentic. Authentic cardboard pirate ship. Very structurally sound. I'm going to put some more of these little bits on, cover the whole thing. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. Okay, I've got a pirate ship. That's how it's looking. It's a bit rough and ready, especially on these edges. I'm going to try and cover up some of these seams with a little bit more card. Good blob of glue right on the edge. Stick that on. It's not the neatest. I'm going to do that around a few of these edges. Try and neaten it up a little bit. I think I need some around here, around here. And maybe some of the, some in here just to hold that in place. And maybe cover up some of this a little bit. So I think my boat is looking a whole lot better now. <laughs> is it? I think it's time for a little bit of detail. I've got these wooden skewers that I found in my kitchen drawer. So I'm going to cut them up really tiny and make banisters for around the boat. But they keep pinging everywhere. Okay, so that's the idea. And then I thought what I would do is try and glue them. Put a little bit of glue on the end. Stick it on. I haven't measured any of these, I've just been chopping at what I think is the right size. So it's like little railings. Does that make sense? In my great wisdom, on top of this I thought I would use a pipe cleaner because it's nice and lightweight. I've got some pipe cleaners. I could just glue them on. <laughs> yeah. Does that make a bit more sense? I hope so. Right. My rigging is on. Is that what we're going to call this? I think I'm going to add some shields. Everyone has a tub of buttons, don't they? So that's what I'm going to use to add shields. I'm sure it'll be fine when it's all sprayed painted black. I don't think there's much to explain with that. Blob of glue. Button. Just need buttons that have looked the same, vaguely. Try not to glue gun burn yourself. It's always helpful. Do I need some more up here? I'm just here having a good time. This seems all like a good idea. Yeah, that'll do. Same on the other side. I think now more than anything we need sails. Just going to use these bamboo skewers again, I think. We have one here, in the middle, and here. Right about there. Shall we just have to we just stab it in and hope for the best? Well that worked far better than I thought it would. I think I just need to put a whole other glue gun glue down there and hold it in place. And yeah, I'm gonna do the skewers upside down. I'll pierce the holes through the cardboard using the spiky end. And then turn them round and secure them with the non-spiky end so I don't poke myself in the head with the, with the skewer. This way I can also use the top of the skewer to put on the sails. Patience is a virtue. Not one I possess. <laughs> it's taken forever to dry. Right, this is going to take a while. I'm losing patience, so... But you get the gist, right? I'm just going to stab the skewers in, glue gun them in place. I've got far too much glue in there. I know I have. It's fine, it's ballast. That's what it is, ballast. I have my masts in place. I've glued them all in, held some with a button and some with some pipe cleaner. And under here, I've put in some strips of cardboard, put a whole of the glue and cardboard in there to try and hold it all in place. So now it's time for some sails. I've just cut out some squares of card. They're not even, they're not even square, they're rectangular. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna cut a really shallow semicircle out each side. I'm just going to skewer them. There we go. Here's a few I did earlier. 
I've made this mainsail a little bit bigger. Is this really what I've just spent my evening doing? Cut down these two. I don't want to be injuring anybody. Usually on the front of boats they have like, is it a selkie or a mermaid or something? Well I don't have that. I have a troll. So I thought he could be my boat mascot. What are they, what are they called? Why do they put these on here? My little troll is on. I am not the most exquisite ship builder. But to behold, I think our pirate ship is complete. I think I just need to add a headband now, don't I? Headband there. I'm trying to take this off. Keep it the same place. So just try and put a tiny bit of glue on and see if it's in the right place. I'm going to throw in a whole pile of glue in here. I hope glue is in the right place now. I'm going to finish gluing this in place because this bit's all seem to take far too long. And then spray paint. I also think he might need some red eyes. I think that would be fun, wouldn't it? Paint is dry, I hope. I've had to sort of butcher the headband because this stuff has gone like really sticky. I'm going to try and remove this little bit as well. It's not reacted well with the paint. However, I think the boat is dry and looking pretty good. So it's time to sort out the sails. I've added a little bit of material to the sails and added a little bit of glitter. I have my sails that I've cut out. I found this bit of material, thought I would just use that. Why not? Handy dandy print stick. Yeah, maybe, maybe slightly too much glue in that one. It's fine, it's fine. Add a good bit of glue. Press on the material. And then cut off the excess. I am trying to leave a little bit around the edges. I don't want it looking perfect. It's a pirate ship. Hunted pirate ship lost at sea. I'm just going to do the same as the other side. Stick on some more material. Cut that out again. Trim to the sort of shape I want it. I've got like a little, little Tupperware here. I'm going to place the sail in there. I just have some craft glitters and some makeup glitters that I'm going to shake over it. I think this is like a purpley silvery colour. We've got a hollow silver some black. Yeah, it just seems logical just to sprinkle that over. I don't care if it's Halloween. I love glitter. Turn it over. Do the same as the other side. <laughs> Try and shake off some of that glitter. And then pop the sail back onto the mast. Just need to find the holes for it to go through now. There we go. A rugged glitter pirate ship. <laughs> Super. And that's how the sails are looking. Three done, three more to go. Sails are on. My little troll now has red eyes. I've also made a little pirate flag. I'm not the best at drawing, but I think it's fine. It'll do, it'll do the job. A bit of print stick. Just stick it on there, I think. Shall we see what this looks like? What am I doing with my life, honestly? It's a little bit wobbly. I do have some like these little clip things, just so it stays in the right place. Oh, I think I just got this at a charity shop. It's just one of those little fascinator things with a wee hair clip on it. I think it's time to move on to what I'm going to wear. I'm going to try and keep this really simple. I've got some pirate flags, I've got some elastic, and I'm just going to pleat them and not pleat them, but like fold them in a pleated sort of way and sew them to the elastic. Let me show you. So this is my lovely model Brenda. She's going to help me out with this build or this sewing situation. Found some elastic, measured it round my waist and then sewed it together here. So I've got two bands, hopefully make it a little bit firmer and I can sew a couple of layers onto it. And here is my pirate flag. So I think what I'm going to do is just sew on a little bit and then pleat it like this sort of idea, sew that a little bit more. Maybe slightly overlap. So on so forth, does that make sense? I really hope so. I think I'll start by attaching the thread to the material. Is if I start. This only has to last one night. Definitely not going to be the best stitching I've ever done. I've stitched about four inches long they are. And then maybe fold an inch back on itself. It's definitely going to take longer than I was hoping. You can see that first pleat. I'm going to fold this back over and back again. 
and so and so they are and carry on around until I'm done. I think I have somewhat of a finished skirt. So I've got two flags sewn in, one flag here and another one on this bit. That is the first flag. Yeah, the material's kind of folded and stitched on. So hopefully it lies a little bit nicer. And then this flag over the top, on the top piece of elastic. This one though, I've ended here and folded in itself and just created a little bit of a bustle effect. For the split area, I might cut this. I might make those areas a little bit more jagged maybe. For the costume, I'm just gonna layer things on top, I think. I've got this red dress with sort of bat sleeves. And a corset type design at the back, although this is a little bit big, so I'm probably gonna have to pin this at the back somehow. Something like that. Well, this is definitely going to need cut. Sashes to stick on. There's a safety pin. I think what I need is lots and lots of layers. I also have a lot of weaponry. Who doesn't love plastic tart? I also really like this fabric. It's maybe too much, we'll decide on the night. I also plan to put some lights in the ship. I've got these. The lights are in a bottle. I think I'm just gonna shove them in here and yeah, hope for the best. Next steps, makeup. Okay, it's Halloween night and it's time to get ready and I am again running late. It's what, half five. So it's time to do some makeup. I've already done my base. I've been stalling because I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I've seen a few pictures. I found this picture and I think this is what I'm going to use as my inspiration for my makeup tonight. I don't know who this is by. The Chick Pursuit. So let's get on with it. I'm going to draw on where I think I want things to be. Using this makeup pencil stick thing. It is just blackish colour. Smoky Grey Faux by Makeup Gallery. I think I just bought this cheap. I'm just gonna draw skeleton skull type idea. I'm, do I just follow cheek? What, a skeleton pirate? Is that, what we're, is that what I'm going for here? Now do I match the other side or do I do the other side glam? Oh, do you know what? Let's just do the same on both sides so we don't have to think about this too much. Yeah, that'll be fine. No, oh, I think I think this bit goes up, doesn't it? I'll just smear that up out of the way. I think that's enough of that. Do I just try and blend some of this in a little bit? So it's not quite so harsh. I really wish I'd been more organised this year. But alas, I have not. I have washed my hair. <laughs> so that's something, isn't it? I only wash my hair once a week, usually. And this week I've done it twice. Special occasion being Halloween. Skeleton vibe. I'm just gonna use a black eyeshadow using the same brush. In case you're wondering, that's what the brush looks like. Just really soft. I'm just gonna go in with a whole pile of black eyeshadow. Maybe a little bit of stippling action. Should I do my ears? Probably. Will I? <laughs> Probably not. So I guess this bit is really just to create a bit of shadow as well. And using the same brush means um, I don't have to do so much cleaning. For lack of not having a white eyeliner, to draw on the details, I've got some Snazaroo. It's just a white to body paint. And I've got this stuff. Again, just white face paint. I've also got some fine paint brushes. That's the Snazaroo and that's the face paint. I think this is gonna be easier to use. I just need to draw some details now. Oh no, this is gonna take a lot more, maybe a lot more effort than I was hoping. By Jove, I do think this might be working. Abstract eye painting. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, this is gonna be a bit like my eyebrows. I would like them to be related, but let's be honest, they're never going to be twins. <laughs> I would like them to be more as neighbours. Just vaguely related. You can tell they are in the same bloodline, you know? It would appear my plan is to draw on abstract lines. Because you don't have to be that neat. You can just squiggle them up all over the place. And if you make a mistake, it's all right. It's meant to be there. I have no idea where I got this white face paint from. However, I'm not mad at it. I don't know. Maybe someone left it here last, last Halloween. It's 
It's just a whole pile of squiggly lines, isn't it? Here's the question. Do I do a red lip? So I do have this burgundy colour. Kylie's liquid lip. I don't know if I was very enamoured by this. It is a pretty colour though. So the Kylie one is called Photo 2. Mary Jo maybe? And the purpley red is Sleek Makeup. What is this? Vino Tinto 1041. What do we think? I think I want to go with the red. At least if I do the red, I can always take it off and start again. My lips are so dry at the moment because I've been wearing so much lipstick to work. That's fine. I do have a black. I kind of want to whack on the top. Maybe I could blend it in with this. I'm just going to put a bit of red eyeshadow over that. Smear it in a bit. That kind of works, isn't it? That looks horrific. <laughs> it's not the idea though. Do you know what I think I need actually underneath this? It's probably shadow. Yeah, I think it could do a shadow. Just going to match the bottom up with the top. I don't really enjoy this bit at all. Can I just kind of buff that out a little bit? Let's pretend that's more of a shadow. That would be terrific. I think I need some proper eye makeup. Maybe that'll help this come together. Let's hope so. Do I have an eyeshadow base? No. What I do have is concealer. Let's just pop a bit of that on. Hopefully that'll double up as an eyeshadow primer. I suppose I could just use this. My just gonna use that eyeshadow stick again. Where did I put that brush? Ah, here we go. It's just the black one I used earlier. Let's see if I can. Can I just smudge this in? I think I'm going to try and do a really smoky black eye with a little bit of red right on the lid. Just pack on that shadow. It's like quarter past six. So it's taken me about 45 minutes so far. How have I only done this much? Halloween makeup always takes longer than you think it's going to do, isn't it? I think in the centre I'm just going to do a little bit more red. Is this the only red I have? What other reds do I have? Oh yeah. A little bit there because why not? Maybe a little bit of setting spray that'll do it. Do we use a tiny bit of glitter? Probably. Okay, that works. Hope this doesn't look too Day of the Dead. It's not meant to be. Just want to be a pretty pirate. That's all. What I need is an eye patch, but I don't have an eye patch. Eyeliner, lashes. That's terrible, but no one's really going to notice, are they? I'm going to put some eyelashes on, get my outfit on. Oh god, I've even got it in my hair. <laughs> Just washed my hair, we know. Oh, also, I added some lights to my pirate ship hat and I painted the wire with nail polish. Seemed like a legit idea. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like all together. enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment share and subscribe of course subscribing is optional but it's very much appreciated so thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye i do love the troll i think he makes the costume complete <laughs> judging always judging <laughs> why so judgy <laughs> I do love those glasses on you. <laughs> it's really cute. I think if I had to get glasses, this could well be the style. Yeah. Maybe slightly bigger. <laughs> if you're a little bit small. <laughs> right, got things to do. Do I enjoy this makeup? Not really. I really wish I'd had some more time to think about it properly. And yeah, you can see this white bit of headband. Could I conceal it with some hair? It's going to be a tiny bit better, is it? Do you know what, actually? What do I have? Oh gosh, am I still recording?